lovely people. Today I am playing on Switch and I am on one of my fire heroes. Today I am going to show you a little bit of St. Patrick's Furniture, which I realise is not going to be particularly helpful for people who have already finished St. Patrick's Day, which is um, anyone on PC and anyone on PlayStation. Um, which I also play on PlayStation, so some of my characters are past um, St. Patrick's Day as well. But I know that for people on Switch and for people on Xbox, we still have St. Patrick's Day for a little bit longer. And so we are going to play around with the currency that I have got on this character this time around, which, granted, is not as much as I normally do, because if you watch me, you already know. I don't focus on the Switch very much. It's very glitchy. It's very laggy. We can't play it the way I would like to. And it's a little bit annoying. However, I do have a base on here, which I have previously furnished with items from St. Patrick's Day, um, from this vendor. But my best friend has an even better base that he has furnished with St. Patrick's Day. I will say, we furnished it. We did it together, though most of the good ideas were his. Um, but a lot of the decorating I straightened up. The hard work, you know? <laughs> I want to show you what you can do half-assed because honestly my base's pub that I have created is incomplete and it is kind of half-assed. Like I put some effort in but his base is where we were focusing and it's beautiful so I'll show you mine first then we'll go across to his and I'll show you an amazing, at least I think it's an amazing St. Patrick's Day uh, bar that he has put in his base and it's in the back cave and it's great. So, first things first, I am going to spend the 160 Lucky Clovers that I have on some items that I could potentially put inside my pub. So, I have 160 to spend. Let's have a look and see if there's anything here that leaps out at me as something I really want to put in there. I'm not a huge fan of the signs, but if I was going to pick one, it's going. it would be this one, the Shamrock. Let's have a look what we like from here. So... I really do love the pub walls and doorway. I'm thinking I want to grab some of those. We've got a pub ceiling. This I'm not so interested in. I find the ceilings to be something that I do actually quite like the look of. But the fact that the walls don't reach from the ground to the ceiling and then the ceiling extends across it bothers me. It seems like there's a separation there when I put the walls up against the wall and then put the ceiling on. It's not tall enough and there's a gap. So the ceiling becomes kind of useless. It doesn't make it cohesive. It just looks disconnected and is kind of a waste um, unless I just have extra space and need to put something there. I find the ceilings a little bit not fun uh, unless they're like the spring ones where they've got the plants and the light coming through from the moon window. And like Valentine's that has the petals that are falling down. I really like that. Rain from the ceiling that's falling down. I love that too. But that ceiling uh, looks like wood to me. But um, I'm not particularly interested. It doesn't do anything interactive. And it doesn't really tie anything in together. Because it can't connect to the walls. Because the walls are too short. But I do like the walls. So long as I use them as dividers between sections. Rather than something I put up against the wall. To make the walls look this particular way. Especially because this is... Um, my bar is in the manor base, so my walls are pretty good at making it look like a bar inside already if I just adjust the colours to what I want. So, don't really need to cover them up, at least at this stage. But, we're going to buy a couple of items and have a look at them um, with the ones that I currently already have. So, we're going to grab that bar top. We're going to grab the one with the taps on it. Because, of course, we are. We're going to grab some pub stools. So, I'm thinking along that we'll probably fit three per bar. So, we're going to grab six. And, yeah, I, I didn't count that. So, let's just check. Yeah, I got six. Okay. We're good. We're good. I counted not well, but apparently I got it right anyway. Well done, me. Also, I have a hot chocolate. And I would like it to remain a hot chocolate. So, I'm going to eat a little bit more of this marshmallow off the top and then have a sip. So good. Especially for someone who's not drinking coffee anymore. <laughs> it's really good. No one cares about your hot chocolate, okay? But that's because I made it and my cuppers are always great. <laughs> I say that. They're great for me. I'm thinking I might grab a couple of the tapestries. I want two. 
And I do also think I want this doorway and a couple of walls. I'm thinking I'll probably need four. No, six, two more. Okay. Bartop, we've got the taps, we've got the stools. I'm not interested in any of those. Okay. I also kind of wanted to grab this leprechaun jacket and the leprechaun bearded hat because I feel she should get, you know, into the style um, so that she suits the basis she's about to tour for you. So, jacket, beard. <laughs> We're grabbing the kilt. We're going for a whole look here, okay? I don't feel like these will help. No, no. The coins, maybe? Yes. And we've got that. Oh, the brows. Yes. Okay. We have the look that we want. Let's collect. I say that we want. I just want to try on some stuff that's relevant before the season is over. I say season, but it's a day, right? We don't celebrate it here. So it's not really something that I am very familiar with. I just know that it's an Irish holiday, or at least I believe it is. Maybe I'm mistaken. Um, and I also know that you celebrate by drinking and it involves a lot of green. And I knew that before I played this game, but I mean this game, game, <laughs> this game, I mean this game has helped me confirm that because everything in here is green. Though it does say a lot about Celtic. Is Celtic Irish? Because I don't know much about Celtic stuff. I'm gonna look it up. Okay, the word Celt? I assume it's pronounced Celt since it's Celtic, but I guess it could be Celt. But that seems weird. Uh, the word Celt comes from the Greeks who called the tribes to their north the Celtoi, which I suppose are now the Celtics. Interesting. Something I did not know at all. So, cool. <laughs> all right, let us head to my base. I don't even know what my base is called. That's in Sweet Shores because it is on the shore of a beach. It makes sense. <laughs> there is just so much marshmallow. pianist is getting excited. That was a brary reef? Very brief. I can speak English. Okay. I say that all the time and then I fail to speak English. Let's go and have a look. So my base, this is not a complete base, um, but I do have the, it may not make a lot of sense that the master bedroom is down here, but that's where it is at the moment. <laughs> I should zoom in a little bit so you can actually see. It's cool, okay? <laughs> but let's go upstairs. Oh yeah, I forgot this is where I put her armories. It's a hallway of armories, okay? <laughs> but this is my bar. So you can see I've got my little leprechaun friend right here whose name I can totally pronounce and I'm just choosing not to, okay? I could say it if I want to. You can see I'm using some of the dividers from previous, I was going to say seasons, but I think the correct term is years, from previous years of St. Patrick's Day event in DC, of course. I've got the tables and the carpets that come with the manor pack because they just kind of seem to suit it and fit really well. So I surrounded them by seating, separated them by the dividers, and then put the carpets in underneath because I thought it looked cool and I still think it looks cool. I'm quite happy with my bar, but I hate the seats and I've always hated the seats. And now we have seats with backing. So I cannot replace them all right now. I probably could have if I just purchased the seats, but I want to have a look at some other items. I also am intending to put this cobblestone everywhere in this room eventually. It's only just been started. So it will be everywhere. I will still keep the carpets on top if they will rest on top. Sometimes the carpets will slot underneath and then I have to be a little bit careful about where I'm placing things or remove the carpet, but I'm hoping that they will place on top. I really like this section here because it feels very 
treasure at the end of the rainbow -y? <laughs> I wonder why. But uh, I thought it suited it. It looks like it's a little bit whimsical and it's where someone will play the piano for the people at the bar, obviously. I've got the items on the wall there and there also, which I really like. I do think they're really pretty. This one, even though it um, doesn't have quite an intricate border like the other one is my favorite because of the way it looks through the window very realistic and the perspective of it changes as you turn your camera so I really love that and I quite like this one too even though it doesn't do quite the same effect it kind of works and they are both obviously from St. Patrick's uh, Day events that have been in the past as are any of the St. Patrick's items in here and I do have some other items that are not St. Patrick's Day. Like here I have the bar with a table like intersecting with it so that it looks like it's part of that. I have a, actually I think that that seat actually is part, part of St. Patrick's Day, but I am not 100% sure. But I put a couple of damaged sofas in here and I've got a section here where people can test their darts ability you've got quite a lot of length in order to do your test and then you can plonk yourself down on this couch and relax while you watch everyone else suck and you win obviously and then here I've got kind of what I wanted to feel like an outdoor area I realize it's not it was a little tricky for me to make it look outdoor with the limited amount that I have so you can see it's incomplete at the moment but it will eventually look like an outdoor section that has hopefully this ground all the way through and like is storage so an outdoor kind of cut off section maybe like the end of an alleyway which is full of stuff that they are going to be able to use in the bar um then you can see I've also grabbed a bunch of the artwork that you can get from St. Patrick's Day. I've got the antler candle uh, sconces on the wall as well. And I think they look really good. The welcome sign and the fireplace screen obviously both are not from St. Patrick's Day. But that antler um, chandelier. Oh my goodness, I forgot the word for chandelier. The antler chandelier is part of it. And so is this little fellow who I'm going to call Mr. M. Mixopicalix. Oh, is that right? Mixopicalix? Mixopicalix. Oh my goodness, if I got it right, well done me. If I didn't, don't tell me. <laughs> All right. So because I've got him in here, he gives us item an item that we can collect um, by like dropping bits and pieces for us. Five, I think, that we have to collect. I think they're coins. And then we get an item as a reward, which I'm going to show you. So I have kind of made it so that when I activate him, he won't go running. So basically when you activate him, he will run around your house, your base, and drop coins for you to collect. Now I've put him in a position where when I activate him and I stand on this corner, he jams himself in the corner and tries to run away from me but gets stuck, see? So that I can just stand here and collect my coins. So if you have him in your base, a good place to put him is somewhere that you can jam him into place so that he will run and stick and you don't have to go running around after him. Though if you do, you will see on your mini-map question marks come up for you to go and find and collect. So you can actually get them quite easily. It's just I was about saving time. And so this saved me time. And also it kept him at the bar where he belongs, you know, serving customers, obviously. So once we've collected all five, we grab a green prize satchel, which is blue. So that makes a lot of sense. But we're going to open it and have a look. Not only that, but I have a stack of them. So this character has been collecting some storage stuff from my other characters, as you can see here, she's holding some junk. But let's open a few of them. Let's have a look at what we can get because some of them are kind of cool and interesting and helpful. All right, we have a half-eaten chocolate coin that we can sell and a clover bomb, something we have an excess of. But you know, you could always have more. Why on earth can we sell a half-eaten chocolate coin? Who would buy that? Let's open the next one. Here we've got another thing we can sell. Mr. Mixel Pickalick. Red Brew? Did, is that correct? It's totally correct. Just, just, it's totally right. And I would never screw it up. These items you get don't sell for very much, but I mean, if you're collecting them every day, which I tend to when I'm on collect them. Ooh, look at that. Green Brew. I tend to collect them every day. Oh, this is good as well. You can get collection items from here. I believe on this character I have them all, but I have a large amount of characters. 
I know, shocking, right? So I will send it across to another or I'll put it in my shared bank. And as I scroll through for my, like, every week I still get on here and I try to scroll through every single character and take them to their base so that they will add prestige to my league. But it means that every time I log in, I run through all of my characters at least once a week or only once a week at the moment. So when I run through them, I go to my shared bank and I have a look and see if there's anything I need to collect, swap, put in there, whatever I need to do. And I do that. So that will probably sit in my shared bank, uh, ready for a different character. So that's very nice to have that come up and you will probably get, I'll probably get a bunch of them while we open some of these. And I think I'm storing the bruise in here. Yes, yeah, so this character has all the bruise as well. So I have this tendency to kind of store a bunch of the stuff that I get that I need on other characters and I just um, eventually get around to it, running through every single character with it, hopefully, you know, fingers crossed. And eventually all my characters get what they need without me having to unlock it with um, replay badges. And then sometimes I am a genius and really smart and I unlock them with replay badges even though I don't need to because I have a stockpile of whatever I need to unlock it in one of my characters and I just don't. So don't be like me. <laughs> do what I say, not what I do. <sighs> Our chocolates are good. Okay, so let's open a couple more so you can see what you get. It does, it, like, uh, for me it's worth it to have it there. I think for a lot of people it is, but also if you don't log in frequently and you're not going to collect it a lot, it's kind of neither here nor there, unless I, I suppose if he gives you a feat, maybe that's good. <gasps> Another brew, how lovely. <laughs> Another brew, some glasses to sell. So we'll open all the way down to um, 500. Oh. Sometimes I press the buttons too fast. Actually, no, that's not the problem on here. On the Switch, I press the buttons incorrectly because the controller that I have, which was given to me by my brother, thank you, my brother. He does not watch my channel, so he won't know. But I have two brothers. This one is that brother from AU, not that little brother from AU. Okay, so these two buttons at the back are where I naturally rest on my fingers. So if I press too hard up here, those buttons press. So. It's, I think because my hands are smaller than who this controller is meant for, I assume people would rest it up higher, but it's uncomfortable for my little hands. So it sits wrong. I need a new controller, but I mean a free second hand one is better than a brand new one that costs, right? Right, so let's open this one. And he only gave it to me, ooh, gold brew. What a lovely color. Um, because he no longer plays Switch. And if he, if he would, he would play with someone else on someone else's stuff. So it, it, he's not needing this. Um, and if he did, he could just ask for it and I'd give it to him to use, no problem. But it was very nice of him to give it to me so that I could play without using my Joy-Con thing that needs to charge. This can just plug straight in with a cable. So I'm gonna stop rambling now. I think we all know that's not true. I'm going to attempt to stop rambling for the next few seconds before it starts up again very quickly. Do I need that? I do not. So yes, I'm, I'm collecting quite a few of those now. <laughs> Last one, broken clover glasses and another collection item. So, all right, let's pop these in here. I really, I'm not sure what I should do with that. Oh wait, let's pop the, pop the bag back where it belongs. There you go. Okay, then in here, we're gonna dump as many of these as we can fit. Beautiful, I have, see what I mean? Like I've got a bunch of stuff. This is from Christmas. I just, I have too many things that I need to collect on other characters. And every time I just forget, I need to run through, I need to run through. Anyway, I don't know what to do with these two because I can't trade them and I cannot sell them. And I don't wanna delete them because that feels like waste, but I guess I have to, right? There's nothing else I can do with them. They're just there. Ugh, the amount of things you can't sell now is just too much. All right, let's go over here and sell those bits and pieces we got. 308, 385, 231, 231, 154. So, you know, it's a little bit. It's not a lot. Doesn't mean a lot to this character, but I like that it's there. Now, I know this room is not very uh, St. Patrick's, but I have set up a small bar here too. So I thought I would show you that also. And this may be the room where I put, get off the bar. Oh my goodness, walk like a normal person. It's not my fault. I didn't press the wrong button. I may have pressed the wrong button. 
Hot chocolate tastes even better coming out of Batman's head. All right, so um, this may be the place where I test out those other bar items that we just purchased. I want to have a look and see how they fit, what they look like and everything. I mean, they may not be what I want at all, but I want to have a look. And it's hard to have a look at some stuff by just going to the vendor and scrolling through. Sometimes you want to physically put it in a space, compare it to other things and see how it's going to work, fit, what the height is, whether it will attach to things. So I'm thinking I might test it out here, but we'll see, we'll see, because we'll do that very soon. I will probably do it on super fast so that you don't have to hear my ramblings or watch my thought process occur where I stare blankly at the screen and don't say anything which is very boring <laughs> for us both but I've got a little bar section here that I also really like and I thought it was quite cute and sweet and it's got a fridge it's got I mean I know that's from Christmas it's got some items that have nothing to do with St. Patrick's Day I've got the speaker there Christmas tree and then it's kind of like I I I do have some stuff missing. I know I need to set up something for this table, some seats maybe. I've got this little section with the fireplace that I feel is a little bit cramped and kind of silly because I've got like this area as well. Office section, sitting area with a television, then around, I do quite like the shape that I made with this though, I will say. I've got a little spot here where they can play piano and make a speech of some kind for some reason. Don't ask any follow up Don't ask any follow-up questions. And I've got this is the uh, doorway that stuck sticks to the wall and then I've put this cupboard piece in front of it because I thought it looked like good storage or it looked like a doorway into somewhere else. Totally does. Then I've got this little section where they can sew and repair their uniforms that, that she's not wearing. Never mind. She will be wearing a uniform suit. Just wait. Just wait a minute. Just wait. <laughs> okay, and then I've got this room as well that's supposed to be like a sitting area and then a bed over here. So... I think what I was going for in here, which I will say I probably made this like two years ago, and you can definitely see it's incomplete. I wanted this to feel like a place where someone has rented a room, but is also a place that people can come. So here's the room that you rent and stay in, where you can sit down here to eat. So like a dining room, that would be where you sleep. And then over here would be like a sitting area and a fireplace. But then over here, obviously, there's an open bar for anyone that comes um, and a sitting area there, sitting area there so that people can like chill out, have a drink, have a chat, watch some TV and then nick off home. So that was kind of what I was going for in here. But I do feel it's not finished. And I do want to make it look like Christmas is occurring in this room. And I do actually want to get a little bit more of St. Patrick's Day in this room as well. I mean, I picked the green star tree in, over here on purpose because I thought that would go with St. Patrick's Day stuff. But we're not there. I'm just not there. Anyway, let's go back over here. Oh yeah, this is meant to be her, but oh, these things never, never are just closed the way you want them to be or the way I want them to be. I don't know if everyone feels the same, but I mean, if you put a secret door in a place that's supposed to look like it's closed, you want it to look like it's closed. That is how this is meant to look. This is not meant to be somewhere that this area is really connected to. It's supposed to be separate and different. This is supposed to be outdoors, I realize. It's incomplete. But look like a little outdoor graveyard type of area, okay? This is meant to be somewhere else. But the door keeps opening, so, or rather being see-through. Anyway, this is her bedroom that I made, and I know it's not St. Patrick's Day. It's just like a little Christmas-style bedroom that I thought was kind of cute, and I really like it, and I thought it suited her. Well, at the time I did. She's a little more dark now than she was then, clearly, but that's her bedroom. Anyway, we're going to put some furniture in place, and then we're going to make my character look St. Patrick's-y. And then we're going to go and look at the base that's actually done a good job of the St. Patrick's Day bar. All right, let's try and pull up the other bar. Okay, here's the bar. So I want to see if this can be joined. See, it's lower. This is different. Okay, we can clearly see the style. The color is different. The style is slightly different. It's slightly shorter. It's got elongated top piece here. Uh, you can see the top piece sticks out further than the interior piece. I do quite like it though, but it, it does not match the other one. You can't really put it together nicely. I mean, you could probably clip them or overlap them together and make it look right, but it's just not perfect, which, you know, does it need to be? No, doesn't need to be. Oh, this is messy. Look at that, we've got a cigarette ashtray. We'll just, we can just call it an ashtray. I don't know why I add extra words. 
But I like this one much more. I like the mess. I like that it looks like it's being used. That's awesome. And it looks like these will sit together nicely, but you do have to overlap the top piece if you want them flush for the cupboards at the bottom. If you were gonna just attach the top two, you have a gap. I dislike that gap. I find that irritating. So I would overlap them for sure to get it to look how I want it to. Even then, I don't know that I'm particularly happy. But, cool. All right, let's head in here. Let's see if I can get this bar looking a little better with or without St. Patrick's Day stuff. Let's just give it a shot, all right? All right, lovely people. I have added some furniture into her other house. So let's have a look at that first, then we'll head back. So over here, you can see I've got like a little sitting area. I am going to make this kind of into an area where you can eat and also a pub. I want it to look like in the daytime it does one thing and in the nighttime it does another. I'm thinking I want to pull the dance floor and DJ booth from the anniversary uh, furniture items and try and make that uh, part of it so that it looks like from daytime it's like a diner and nighttime it turns into kind of like a club or pub. I want to try and incorporate it all into this one section. So I put this wall here so I can block off that section and you can see I've got a Wayne Manor door in there as well. Up here I have banners that you cannot see very well uh, with the lighting of this base, but if I go on this angle, you can kind of see the one in front of me and the one to the side over here. If I go over here like this, you can see the pattern is on there. From the opposite side of these two pillars, you can see a lot more, but this is where you walk in, so I wanted to start here. I've grabbed a couple of the dividers that I had left over from the other house, brought them here as well, because I wanted to block off this section so that we couldn't see what is underneath that counter there, which is like a bunch of plates and glasses and things that you don't want to be exposed and out in the open for the people who are coming to the pub. So I blocked it off with that, and it does kind of tie it in because the wood looks very similar to the wood of the actual bar, so I thought that worked. Then I've got a table here with champagne and glasses, with some chairs. We have a table that I already had, which I think is called a bar with seats, but I can't remember. I have added one of the other pub seats to it. You can see right there. It doesn't match the other two, but I don't care. <laughs> it has it flow so that the seats look like they'll go around, and I'll probably put some more, but for the moment they're all up near that little bit of glass that's risen from the counter, so that you can see they sit up against that, so I feel that that makes sense. Then if we go all the way around, this will be a lot easier to see. You can see I've got another divider there to keep it separated, so it looks like this is where the workers or staff go, and the rest of the section is where the patrons can go. You can also see from the back much easier that I have these um, banners up hanging from the ceiling. You can't see all the detail, obviously, because there is a pillar in the way, but you can see the colour on this side. Why we can't see it on the other side, I have no idea. We've got both of the pub bars going across here. I have overlapped them quite a bit to make it fit, but it doesn't matter too much because one of them was empty, so you can't really see them clipping because they look almost identical, and the one that's messy is the one that takes most of the notice. Then I've got the kitchen section that I already had in here, which is what I've blocked off on the other side with that divider that I stole from the other house. We've got, obviously, the wheelie trays here, because, you know, we need to... It actually looks like a proving trolley. So when I used to manage a bakery, this is the kind of thing you would use to prove all of your loaves and rolls and things um, before you put them in the oven so that they would rise. And this looks exactly like the trolley that I used to use for that, or trolleys. Um, but I, I am sure there are other uses for it, but that's just what it reminds me of. Then we've got a fridge over here. I wanted this and this over here to kind of look like other appliances or something we could use. And this is the kitchen here, so I'm thinking maybe this is like an oven, a really big oven or something. But most likely, as I accumulate more items for this base, I will fill it up and cover them over. I have a lot of bases that I'm trying to decorate at the moment. Too many. Too many. So it's going to take me a while to get it where I want. But I've got this oven stove top thing here with the pot hanging thing above it which you can't see because my character's wings there it is right up the top there and you can see also over here I've got some of those terrariums hanging and a light hanging right over the counter here which I quite like it seems to suit the section that it's in over here I've got an executive desk with a seat and the sparring target because he's obviously the um manager and that's his seat and I will give him some walls for his little tiny office it makes sense, but I'm pretty happy with this. It looks very nice from the inside. On the outside, it looks a little bit dark, I will say, but sometimes the base lighting is just not something you can have control over. And I'm, I think the use of it is good. And I like that I found a different place to put this bar and that 
even though it's so different from the other one, it's working somewhere for this character because this is the character where I grab all of my St. Patrick's and I'm really happy. But let's head over to the other base and have a look at the tiny minuscule changes that I've made there because it won't be very different from what I had. But we're going there anyway. <laughs> This is a very long load screen. We've gone through the entire piano sequence that ha starts when you go into the House of Legends base. There we go, finally here. Huh. Took long enough. Now I just have to get her dressed for um, this base because um, we're gonna use up the items that we bought, of course, so. All right, we are all St. Patrickified, which is now a word. And we're going to go and look at what I did. It's not a big change, I will say. This is not the exciting part. The exciting part comes when we go and have a look at my friend's base because that is so much better. But we have added some walls. So I've got a wall here, I've got a wall there, and I've got walls around this section. And inside looks like a room instead of outdoors, which I don't like. But at the moment, this is what I've got. I do like that this looks like a doorway into the pub. I find that quite good. And I will work towards making this look outdoors, but the walls really have made it look like an indoor room. So I'm thinking I need to put brick on the inside and then keep this one on the outside so that it looks like this is the interior and that's the exterior. But for the moment, this is what I've got. I also put this divider here so that this section looks a little bit safer so people can't walk in the line of someone throwing a dart. Hopefully that's, you know, not something people would do anyway, but just to be on the safe side for all of those people who have had a little too much to drink. I have not changed the seats in here because I don't have enough to do so and these ones would have nowhere to go, so I've kept it as is, but as you've seen I've used them elsewhere and I really like them. If it gets to the point where I have enough currency for um, St. Patrick's Day to be able to get chairs to replace everything in this property, I will, in this property, in this space, you know what I mean. But for the moment, this is how it looks and I like it. It's simple. For what I've got, it's simple. I have put all this bar stuff along the back. I like the screen. I like the welcome sign. I like all the little hints of the antlers going through. I just feel like it's a good, simple bar. It's not too cluttered or crowded, which is something I'm very good at doing, making it too full, as we've seen with the Harley base. But I was going for that, okay? It was intentional. But I'm just happy with this one, and I think it looks all right. And you don't need a lot to make it work if you want to get a bar. I will say, though, when I start filling out the floor and changing those seats over, I will need a lot. <laughs> but for the moment, this is what we have. Now, I'm going to go across... Also, let's just... Can we appreciate the style? I do think that the leprechaun jacket and the kilt don't go together perfectly because the coat is clipping through the kilt, but I think that the kilt is relevant and I think that the coat is relevant, so we're wearing both. We're just going to ignore the clipping. And I love the hat, and I love the coins, and I love the pot of gold on her back. But let's go to my friend's base and show you the absolutely awesome bar that we have there. Because that one is way better than this one. Oh, well, that's taking its sweet time to load, isn't it? There it goes. So anyone who is still able to purchase from St. Patrick's, which will be anyone on Switch or on Xbox, um, hopefully this gives you some ideas of what you can do with the furniture if you've got a little bit of an excess of spending money. So let's have a look. Uh, I must say the seats that he chose are far better. I like them a lot. I don't like the ones that I've got in my base, the blue ones, but I had limited currency at the time I was purchasing them, so I had to get the three-seaters. And you can't get these ones in a three-seater, so I really love these stools. But I do think if I had the choice, I would switch them over and put the ones with the backs in. We'll see if he likes that plan too. But this is the section, he's got all the cobble. I, I love the floor. Don't you just love the floor? We need so much more of it though. But he's got the bar section, he's got his little friend who is the bartender like I do. We've got barrels over here. We've got the, what is that thing called? The trolley so that we can transport them. Oh, and I forgot he's got this. I love that, the bubbles are so fun. <laughs> and he's got this um, through the wall as well, which I really like. It looks like you can access it from the bar. There are 
a lot of bits and pieces on the wall and ceiling in this one so I do need to look up a bit but you can see over on this wall we have the television that we can watch we've got some bombshell posters and coins and sconces that suit it really well also two heads up there but I'm not sure for what animal more sconces on the wall they are different those ones have three candles and these ones have like a glass tray section then the candle inside which I think is really quite pretty actually then over this side of the bar you can see we've got the booths he does have different flooring I like that flooring too but they are missing tables I do prefer what I've done in mine where I have the tables in the middle there but they are kind of irritating to place and to try to make work and you would have to extend this area more and you can see that the tiles on the floor you would need more of because this is clearly just the two that fit to fill the space you would need more so I understand why we don't have them in there I still like the booths here I love how they're framed with these different dividers ones with the glass top in between the ones with the pattern at the back but I do think tables would make a little more sense but maybe that's just a future thing we do then he's got balloons all the way along and coins all the way along the ceiling I remember placing those it took a little while and there's also netting all along the ceiling which I also like it looks like we would put storage up there around the border here on the wall you can see that we've got the Celtic knot I believe that's bordering the entire top of this room we've got the lounge sign which is very relevant and the clock which is just there because why not it makes sense to have a clock in there all right, then he's got the pool, pool equipment on the wall, piano where you can play some tunes for people to dance or while they are gambling. So along this side, we've got the balloons. We've got the Celtic stones that are glowing, which I think are so pretty. I use these as well, but I tend to use them in bases where I'm doing an outdoor theme rather than inside my pub. But I think they look great here as well. He's got the awesome carpets for every single one of his gambling stations. And behind here, you can see they've got the chairs and there's like a, a duffel bag of money which I think is fun <laughs> and makes sense. He's also got this really large table where everyone can sit as well. And with that uh, banner behind it, which I think draws a little bit more attention, like it doesn't look so plain because at the moment that area is looking a little sparse, but I do believe we're going to be covering the floor, which is going to take us a bit, but this whole floor is going to end up with these. And like I said at the beginning, hopefully these carpets will end up on top so that we don't have to remove them or change the style that we're doing, change where these go. Because having it run all the way through is going to look awesome. And I really love these rainbows. We put the walls and the rainbows and the pots all together to make it look, I don't know, like a great divider. It's really pretty, it's really colorful. He's just, he's got like the best bar, I love this. And uh, down the back here, we've got the rain that's falling upwards because we had it and I love it and it's fun. And you have to walk through it to get in here, but then you've got a pool room. So the seats all the way around, you can chill out, can listen to music, and you can play pool. This, this guy is following me everywhere, aren't you? You're just very interested in me, I'm fascinating. There's our music. I've actually never heard this music before. One time when we tried to use the speaker it didn't work, and that's the only time I've ever tried to listen to it. I love it. <laughs> Then of course we also have these planters in here so that it looks like we had a, we had space, an empty void, and we needed to put something in there, so that's what's in there. And I think it works. It looks like an intentional planter area. If I move away from the speaker, do I lose the music? Yes, I do. Go back. I like it. I was going to dance, but I wasn't fast enough, so we're not going to dance. <laughs> Because in my quick emotes, I don't have dance. Oh, I do! Never mind! Woohoo! I could have danced immediately. My bad. <laughs> I thought that I had the play the guitar, the death metal guitar one in there. But that's his bar. Is it not awesome? Like, it's so awesome. I love it. I love that how... I love how we've incorporated bits and pieces that I wouldn't normally put indoors, like these. And they kind of work. Like, I like them here. I love the balloons. I love the coins. I love that he's put the Celtic knot all the way along. I just, he's so clever. <laughs> he makes good choices. Does this one play music too? Yay! Oh, and now we can actually dance. Okay, my dancing is not appropriate, but hers is. It totally works. 
For those of you who have not done St. Patrick's Day before, or anyone who was not sure what to do with their furniture, hopefully this helps. Hopefully this gives you some ideas of how to use stuff. And I just, I love the rainbows all the way along. They're so pretty. <laughs> oh, and hiding these. This was such a chore trying to get all the rainbows into place because we had other pieces of furniture here and then trying to grab them and move them back into the right place is so hard you have to delete furniture and put it back. So getting them there, we're never moving them. They will stay there forever <laughs> because otherwise it's just not going to work. But I love it. Oh yeah, and he has darts as well. Why do I keep sticking? Stop that. He also has the darts wall along here. I'm so sorry, I forgot to say to there so that we can play darts and try not to hit people on their way past. Of course. I like, I actually nabbed this idea. He is the one who thought to put Mixel Pickalix? Mixel Pickalix? I don't know, this guy, he's the one who thought to put him behind the bar as the bartender and I thought that was so clever so I, I stole the idea. Great idea. Yeah, for anyone who wants to know what some of the style items look like, that's what they look like. I will say the beard doesn't work for me, not because she's female, but specifically because it's sitting below here and does not look attached. There's just a huge gap. I wish it would sit up a little bit higher and look like it was actually attached to her. Also, the brows are a little odd because they make her look angry. <laughs> I don't like my character looking angry. But that is rotating coins accessory. That is the hat, the brows, the coat, the skirt, kilt, the kilt, <laughs> and the aura. Oh, and the gold pot. So, bye guys.